Hello, this is Mike Rose from Garma Sutra. Today I am playing Glitch Base, which is from a team in Scotland called Space Budgie. And it is a first person programming game that just came out on Steam Early Access this week. Uh, so essentially, what this is, is a sort of first person puzzler. Looks a bit like, you know, where Portal, etc. Uh, except that it has a simplistic programming language called Null built into it, which you can use to manipulate blocks and things around the world to make a path to the exit in each level. So, for example, you can see this block which is kind of freaking out here. If I right click on this, then I get this lovely little thing going on here. This is uh, the Null programming language. Uh, and the, uh, the very first one here is just a case of throwing a main object. So main objects is always the red object that you're trying to manipulate and attaching that to scale object which allows me to get past. This first one just because it's the first puzzle is obviously um, done for me but uh, it looks a little more complicated. Uh, I'll move on to that in a second so you'll be able to see exactly what all that kind of stuff is. Uh, so probably the best way for me to show you this game is just to start moving through the levels. So we get to this one, there's a platform here, but unfortunately it's see-through and if I try and jump on it I'm going to fall. So if we right click on it here, we can see we've got main object here and we've got enable collisions, which I'd quite like to turn on. So if I go in here and grab a true boolean from the logic and connect that to enable collisions, I've enabled it right there, which makes lots of sense. Uh, don't worry, this game starts to make very little sense soon uh, as you begin to become completely confused by it. Uh, so the problem here is that we're trying to disable collisions uh, but that is attached to false which means that it's negating the disabling of the collision. So if we go in the logic again and grab a true and pull this one off here and instead apply true then we can apply disable collisions and walk straight through it. Uh, we've got another block here. It's very much the same kind of thing. So we've got a disable collisions. If we attach true to disable collisions, we can get through. Excellent. So far, so good. This one we quite like to walk through, I would guess. So if we go in logic, ah, this time we have a false and a not gate. So if we put false, if we run it through not, then it negates it and it becomes true. And then we can run true into disable collisions and walk straight through. Uh, again, we've got another platform here which is see-through and this time it's asking us to build the entire thing from what we've just learned. So if we grab the main object, which again is the cube, uh, this time we've got one called moving and we've got allow collisions. Uh, I mean again, it's pretty simple given that these are the only things we've got. But what this is allowing me to do is touch the platform whenever I am moving. So as long as I just keep running across, I will make it. Excellent. Uh, we've got another one here. And so what you can see here is the little lock symbol here means that you can't mess around with those, you can only add to them. Uh, so if we drag out, oops, if we drag out everything that we can possibly gather from the resources we've got, we've got a moving, we've got an allow collisions, and we've got a not. So uh, what we can do is we can attach the allow collisions to the enable collisions. So we already know that collisions are enabled but if we now tell it that we want to make it such that when we're moving then we don't allow collisions then we can run through. Easy enough. So uh, that's the first little bit but the game gets a little more complicated from there to the point where you really have to try and mess around with your programming brain. So we've got scaling going on here. We can take a number 20 and scale it along the Z vector to create ourselves a platform. And then over here, you can probably guess what we're going to be doing already. We are doing the same thing, except this time we're scaling along the Y vector. Excellent. And then here we are given the choice this time, if I remember rightly, to scale along whichever vector we want. And I think we need to do it along this vector. There we go. Excellent. Uh, it gets a little more complicated when you get to this part, so we've got numbers here, um, but it would seem like there's not a lot we can do given there's already a 10 that's running along here. What we really want to do is link this 0 to it instead to move it out of the way for ourselves. And this is very much the same idea except this time we're using a negative 10 to push the wall back. And along here, 
will bring out a 20. So I mean, I'm sure you're getting the the the, uh, the idea behind this. Uh, I think we want to do it along the X. Would that be correct? Nope, I've completely got that wrong. Let's try and do it properly, shall we? There we go, along the Y. And we've pushed our way through to the end of this section. So the game rolls along like this. It uses lots of different ideas. I mean, it's it's fairly simple programming, of course. There's no, not exactly any code going on here. But the idea is to sort of get a feel for how a programmer's brain might work and how they might be thinking about these sorts of situations. Uh, so the game, as I said, is out on Steam Early Access. Uh, there's currently about an hour of gameplay to go through, give or take, you know, depending on how well equipped you are at this kind of thing. Uh, there's also a sandbox mode where you can sort of mess around with any blocks that you feel like. Uh, and I, if the uh, if a game uh, manages to sell well, then it sounds like they're going to be adding a lot more functionality to the game as well, including being able to kind of replicate the gravity gun from Portal and applying forces to objects, etc. All those kind of jazz. Uh, so you can read the full interview that we have on Gamma Suture with the guys behind the game right now. Check out the link in the description below.